Algebra 2, 23.2, number 17 on the back. What probably caught us off guard, we have the big division problem, the box is set up for us, but we'll look at the box and usually we have two of them on the left side going up and down. Now we've got three. And if you notice what we're dividing by, usually that's just a plain old x, x plus or minus something. But now you've got that squared. So that's going to make things a little bit different, but we can still do this. X squared will start here. Zero X goes here. Three goes here. So I'm putting this on the left just like normal. This, all this stuff, X to the fifth, two X to the fourth, two X to the third, four X squared minus three X minus six goes here. They got this added box just in case we have the remainder. If it was one of those roots problems, then we know that they would go divide evenly. But this one just plain old division, it might not divide evenly. So, I know this is x to the fifth from that first term, which means this will be x to the third. I'm going to go ahead and multiply it through everything. This will be 0x to the fourth, 3x to the third. That's x to the third times both of those. Now, the <coughs> these two, the x to the fourth, have to add up to be 2x to the fourth. So this is going to be 2x to the fourth, which means that this has to be 2x squared, which means that this has to be 0x to the, to the third, which means this has to be 6x squared. Now, all these three have to add up to... 2x to the third, which means I have negative x to the third. Negative x to the third plus 0 plus 3 is 2x to the third, which means that this has to be x. x times x squared, or sorry, negative x times x squared is negative x cubed. Negative times 0 is just going to be 0x squared. Negative x times 3 is negative 3x. Now, this has to be in a, a square term. Here's my squares. They have to add up to be 4x squared, so I'm going to have negative 2x squared because negative 2 plus 6x squared is positive 4x squared, which means this is negative 2x. Again, 0x squared in the middle, or 0x in the middle, sorry. Wow. Good job, Michigan. Negative 2 times that is negative 2x squared. There's no x with the negative 2. Which means I have negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And notice, I don't need this last one. There's no remainder because the negative 6 is matched. So, divided evenly. So my answer is x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2.